Do you want to give us kind of a primer on this uh, vulnerability, the Linux one? Yeah, the Linux thing. Uh, so basically, it, w it was something that was like going around on social media for like a week before it came out because the developer was like, I found this vulnerability that's rated 9.9 .9, and they were kind of hyping it up. And there were some news articles that came out saying like all Linux machines are going to be impacted like it's a huge flaw. Um, and it turned out to be a vulnerability in uh, CUPS, which is the Linux uh, printing driver. It's also a printing driver on Mac OS in I don't know if Windows uses it. I'm not sure if the vulnerability exists on other platforms too. I think that they said they were looking into it, but it's a pretty benign thing for most people because like the majority of Linux, I mean, no Linux server is gonna have cups on it probably unless it's a printing server and most desktop users um, aren't gonna be using it either uh, for the most part. And it's, I think it's only a certain configuration and it basically requires you to have like a malicious printer install and then print something out um, from your computer. So it's it's definitely like a big flaw in this specific piece of software, but it's not like the the end of the world bug that people were making it out to be in like the news and on social media, um, security communities, that kind of thing, because it is not something that impacts all Linux systems and everyone can be instantly hacked remotely uh, with like remote code execution or anything like that. It's pretty, pretty benign stuff for the most part, which is, I think what most people were expecting. It's extremely rare for any major vulnerabilities like that to come out. And it, since it wasn't like a perfect 10 on the CVE scale, it was probably like a result of a misconfiguration or a non-default configuration anyways. So it was most people who were who like knew what they were talking about knew that it probably wasn't going to be a big deal but it was just a weird situation where like they were talking about this imminent vulnerability for a really long time kind of hyping it up on twitter or whatever which is usually where a lot of fun news comes from i think on the internet twitter <laughs> you're telling me so. this hyped up vulnerability on twitter uh was hyped up <laughs> and <laughs> was not all it cracked up to be um yeah color me shocked. Much. <laughs> um but yeah I'm, I'm seeing here at the bottom and i have it on the screen if you just want to double check you know the mitigation measures um you can just make sure that cops it sounds like you just disable or stop cops to kind of just make sure you're not affected by this um are there plans or have they already patched the issue itself in cops or is it something that's on um you know i haven't seen uh the latest cups development from that i that, it's not something unpatchable, but I don't uh, know if it has been fixed yet. Okay. So I'd have to look into that. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This is actually a highlight from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how you can have a better relationship with technology. So if you want the full length experience, definitely check out our main channel, TechLore. We'll leave a link somewhere on the screen, wherever our editor puts it, and you can probably check it down in the description as well.